Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Flylens 75, the smaller brother of the Flywoo Flylens 85 2 inch 2S03 Whoop. In this quick video I'm going to go over the features and specs of this 1.6 inch 2S03 Cinewhoop, show you how to set it up and give you my feedback after testing it out. First of all, in terms of packaging, inside the box you can find the Flylens 75 drone, a 3D printed TPU camera lens protector, some stickers, the wiring diagram of the flight controller, labeled bags with spare screws, nuts and silicone dumpers, a Phillips screwdriver and a hex key driver, a spare set of Gemfen 1.6 inch 4 blade propellers in addition to the one which is pre-installed on the drone, a spare button landing pad and 3D printed TPU parts that will enable you to mount 1750 and 550 mAh 2S batteries on the top plate. In terms of features and specs, the Flylens 75 is using the same electronic components of the Flylens 85, so it features the Flywoo Robo 1003 14800 kV motors and the Goku Versatile an all-in-one F4 flight controller that features an MPU 6000 gyro chip and an integrated 12 amperes BLLES 4-in-1 ESC that comes pre-flashed with BlueJay firmware. In addition, it is available with the same digital VTX options like the Flylens 85 and you can choose between normal, fully naked and half-naked O3 systems. Half-naked means that the Air unit is decased, however, the camera is still using the original case. Now, by the way, just like the Flylens 85, the O3 camera unit on the Flylens 75 is soft mounted using three rubber dumpers. It's a great feature that helps to reduce jello in your flight footage and make it very stable, even without stabilizing the footage using Gyroflow or Rocksteady. As for the differences between the Flylens 75 and 85, the Flylens 75 is obviously using a smaller frame, it doesn't feature an LED strip, it's using a 4 bladed 1.6 inch propellers as opposed to the 2 inch 2 bladed propellers on the Flylens 85, and it is using this type of antenna for the built in Express LRS radio receiver instead of this T-shaped antenna. In addition, the frame of the Flylens 75 doesn't feature these mounting holes which can be found on the frame of the Flylens 85 and enable you to mount an action camera on the top side of the drone. Anyway, I think that the Flylens 75 is not intended to be carrying a lightweight action camera and the flight footage of the DJI O3 system, at least in my opinion, is definitely going to be more than sufficient. The wheelbase of the Flylens 75 frame is 79.3 mm. It features a true X pattern, including a half naked DJI O3 air unit. It weighs 73.3 grams, including a 550 mAh 2S LHV battery. It weighs 99.7 grams including a 750 mAh 2S LHV battery, it weighs 108.8 grams, and in comparison, the Flylens 85 weighs 80.4 grams, and keeping in mind that this version features the fully naked O3 air unit, the weight difference between the Flylens 75 and 85 is about 10 grams. As for setting up the Flylens 75, First of all, in case you are getting the version that doesn't come with an O3 air unit, it's very simple to install your own one, as a 6 pins JST connector is pre-soldered to the flight controller and it comes with two linear antennas that are pre-installed, so all you have to do is to connect the 6 pins JST connector to the O3 air unit, connect the two linear antennas instead of the heavier antenna that comes with the O3 air unit and secure the camera and air units to the frame using the provided screws. As for beta flight configuration, most of the settings are pre-configured for you as expected from a bind and fly model. 
and here you can see a quick overview of the settings that the Flyland 75 was shipped with. The quadcopter comes of course pre-tuned. This tune according to Flywo should work well with 550 and 750 mAh 2S batteries, so in case you are going to use the bigger 1000 mAh 2S battery, the tune should be a bit different and I was told by Flywo that this tune should be available on a later stage. In addition, in order to complete the setup, you have to bind the radio receiver with your radio controller, make sure that everything is working properly, configure your favorite flight modes and OSD elements. By the way, I recommend to set the OSD to HD. And I also changed the arming angle to 180 instead of 25 and enabled the motor buzzer options. The next thing that I've done is to head outdoors and test the Flywo Flylens 75. In terms of fly time, using the smaller 550 mAh 2S LHV battery, you can expect between 2 to 3 minutes, depending on how you fly, and using the bigger 750 mAh 2S LHV battery, you can expect between 3 to 4 minutes. This is of course less than the expected fly time of the Flylens 85 using the same battery, as the Flylens 75 is a bit less efficient than the Flylens 85 since it's using 4 bladed 1.6 inch propellers versus 2 inch 2 bladed propellers on the Flylens 85. However, in terms of performance, I think that the Flylens 75 is a bit faster than the Flylens 85, which is something that might be changed in case you are going to use the Flylens 85 using 4 bladed propellers. I haven't tested the Flylens 85 using this type of propellers and that's something that I might test in a future video. In terms of durability, the structure of the Flylens 75 seems to me pretty robust. The most exposed part is of course the DJI O3 camera unit. In case you would like to stay on the relatively safe side, I recommend to go with the cased camera unit and I think that it is great that Flywo are including this 3D printed TPU camera lens protector. A camera lens protector for the naked camera unit is now available as well and you should definitely consider using it in case you have a naked O3 camera unit mounted on one of your drones as at the cost of 1.1 grams it is going to increase the chances of the camera unit surviving in case of a crash. Speaking about the O3 camera unit, Flywo are now selling this replacement camera unit for the DJI O3 system. It is going to indicate that the camera is not calibrated and you won't be able to get rid of this warning, at least for now. However, according to Flywo, it is not going to affect your flight footage and soon I'm going to test this camera. In addition, I'm glad to tell you that Flywo are now selling this replacement ribbon for the O3 VTX system. In case you've seen my video about the Naked O3 upgrade case kit, I warned you that you need to be extra careful when decasing your O3 VTX system, as the most difficult part is to separate the two VTX boards. I'm not sure if this ribbon cable is manufactured by DJI, as it seems a little bit different than the original one, by DJI, however, it is going to work with no issues, so you should definitely consider getting an extra ribbon cable in case you are buying the Naked O3 upgrade case kit. Finally, another accessory that was recently released by Flywo is this landing foam pad. I've shown you what it looks like on the Flylens 75 as it comes pre-assembled, however, you can also get it separately and it is of course compatible with the Flylens 85 as well, so in case you have a Flylens 85 unit, you should consider getting one as it is going to protect the bottom of the drone when landing. Anyway, now I'm going to wrap up this video with some flight footage of the Flylens 75. I might revisit this drone once I'm going to get the 1000mAh 2S LHV batteries as I would like to find out what kind of flight times I can get using these batteries with the Flylens 75 and Flylens 85. And overall, I think that Flywo released a pretty cool drone. In case you're debating which version you should get, 
the 75 or 85. I think that in case you're looking for a more of a cinematic drone, the Flylens 85 is going to be a better option as it is going to provide you with a better fly time. And I think that it is a little bit more steady and the Flylens 75 is going to be a better option if you're looking for a smaller form factor. The drone itself is very agile, maybe even more agile than the Flylens 85. And anyway, I don't think that you are going to be wrong in case you are going to choose one version over the other. Now I'm going to wrap up this video with some flight footage. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. I wish you all happy flying and I'll see you soon on my next videos. Goodbye.